think, uh, do you think, uh, for example, your father, I hope he lives a very long life, but posthumously will be a 10th done? My father, uh, I don't know. You know, he's a ninth now. So yeah, exactly. I don't know, man, maybe another 15 years. He's 82. You know, uh, hopefully he lives another 20 years, you know, um, yeah. maybe. I don't know. I think it's very bureaucratic, too, at the high levels of the belts, right? Yeah. You have to... Like politics, yeah. like political. Yeah, it's very political, you know, and there's yeah. something that's not good about it, but there's also something good about it, too. Um, How so? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's good if you're on the inside, you know what I mean? If you have like that... Yeah crony capitalism kind of a thing like you're on the inside i'm part of the club and then you could take care of your own right uh, okay, so okay, okay. i mean it's good in a way where it sort of keeps the you're not going to get some random dude that just played his cards right you know yeah muscling yeah. himself way in and then just because he knows how to fill out paperwork coming through the ranks you know what i mean there is a little bit because the people at the top are you know really caring about the judo and the program and you know, that's yeah. just only because I know some of those people that I could say this, but yeah. you know, sometimes you get that kind of a system and you have bad people at the top, you know, and they're playing, you know, favorites and all this stuff. And I know Travis was on my channel talking about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I heard uh, him. And he was very upset. I think when they, they denied him for a little while. Yeah. He but, said you know, that he gave a lot to judo and they denied him basically. Yeah. But you know, there was a lot of rules, right. And administrative stuff that you had to sort of do, you had to prove this, you have to prove that, you know, all these different check boxes and things that people did to right? And he didn't do it. He was like, Hey, I, I'm an Olympic silver medalist. I, you know, give it to me. And some people, <laughs> some people were like, yes, you know, let's give it to him. He's an Olympic silver yeah. medalist. And some people were like, no, yeah. you know, we don't have proof that he filled out this thing, uh, you know, four years ago. So, hmm. you know, it's kind of silly, but you know, anything bureaucratic can get kind of messy, right? But he's out there like pushing judo every day. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. But eventually he got it, you know, eventually yeah, he got yeah. it. And, uh, yeah. you know, even though he's like, it means nothing to me and blah, 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 yeah. and disrespecting it. And, but, you know, that's just his nature. You know, he just kind of likes yeah. to. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure he's happy. I mean, he went for it, so he must be happy. Yeah. Yeah. If he really didn't care about it, why would he even bother with it? You know exactly yeah yeah so like i i got my architecture degree uh two years ago and then i got another one in uh, management of architecture and i'm still like yeah i don't care but deep down it's like one of the like the hardest things i have to do it's like yeah. nine years of studies nine Ooh. years of studies yeah that's yeah. amazing yeah yeah so Four, you have a master's degrees. degree um uh, i have bachelor masters and management so the management, it's like an MBA. Uh, yeah, but for architecture, like how to handle clients, uh, the different uh, clients. You have the city that's a client and you have the private clients mm. and you need to study law and accounting. Interesting. That's great, man. Very well-educated guy. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, I'm also I... a, pa a painter. Really? Artist? Yeah. Do yeah, you make judo can... paintings? No, you can check my Instagram. Oh, the one that I follow you on? Yeah. You have paintings, paintings. on there? Yeah. Oh, shoot. You got to make judo paintings. Yeah, I should. I, I was actually meaning on doing a uh, Inoue portrait since he's my favorite. Mm. Yeah, he's my favorite too, man. I love Inoue. He's, man, like that uh, that match alone in 2005 against Yuri Ryback, that mm. tells, uh, like that that should maybe made a movie. Just like the ending is that yeah. match. Yeah, man. And, you know, he's a great person, too. He's, like, one of the most stand-up dudes I've ever met, you know? He's a... Uh, I'll tell you, man. you probably seen it when he was uh, announcing the Japanese team, the Olympic team. Where he got he was choked crying. up. Yeah, he's crying. And most people, you know, at the top level, they're like, these are the champions. These are my representatives. Anyone who's yeah. below them, they didn't deserve to go out there because they suck. They lost. They don't deserve it. You know, these are the guys that deserve <laughs> yeah. it. Not in a way. He's like, hey, those guys worked hard. They gave it their very best. They didn't make it. They need to be recognized. And then he got just emotional and sad. And it shows how compassionate he is. And, you know, that's not a fake. You know, he's not yeah. fronted, right? He's actually truly yeah, yeah, leaves yeah. this kind of thing. I'll tell you a funny story about Inoue. Like, uh, I probably told yeah. it on uh, some other platform too before. But there was an American guy who was a champion yeah. in the U.S. 
and he was kind of an asshole. We go to Japan for the world championships. I'm fighting there too. He's yelling at this person. He's trying to buy sandwiches at a convenience store. And the lady's yeah. like, we don't accept American dollars. We only accept yen. Oh. Right? And then this guy gets mad and he's like, what do you mean you don't accept American dollars? You know, like, this is fucking American dollar. Like, accepted everywhere. It's like freaking MasterCard. Like, what do you mean? And he's yelling at this woman. Right? Yeah. I'm in the rest in the convenience store. I'm in the way back. And I hear this and I'm like, what the hell's going on? And, you know, the woman's terrified. You know, like there's this big American goon freaking screaming at her. She's a small, small Japanese woman. Small Japanese woman just doing her job. And he's got the fucking finger in the face being an asshole. And I I was like, oh, should I say something? You know, I'm in the back. In a way, just happened to walk into the convenience store. We're right near the tournament venue. And he puts his hand on the guy's shoulder. And then he just pays for the kid's sandwich with the Japanese yen. And then he apologizes and bows to this lady like, oh, I'm so sorry on behalf of he didn't say it but like, i'm so sorry on behalf of my judo people some of these guys are dumb oh, and then he just he didn't say that but he just so bowed hard. paid and then walked out and it was like the most beautiful thing and i saw it unfold right there you know like no cameras no nothing just he just did it that was just who he is what he stands for and then wow. people were in there the japanese people were like is that was that in a way the judo champion like the olympic gold medalist and people were like yeah and I was like, oh man, he's my, f- he's like my favorite. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, uh, he no. has a soft spot forever in my heart, you know, just not even judo, but like the way he carries himself, you know? And yeah, yeah I just love like, him, man. He's amazing. Just, just the fact that uh, he was losing uh, like his brother, his mother, et cetera. And he was still going and fighting for yeah. them. It's yeah. insane. Yeah. What a, he's a legend. Yeah. Yeah. I and he, like, I, yeah, he's a, like, he's the true representative of judo. Like, he's yeah. just so amazing. He is. And, you know, um, he changed Japanese judo, you know, dramatically, just significantly, like redid the culture, like complete paradigm shift in the back end. Like they have the Japanese team and his predecessor were still like beat the kids, like, you know, don't be weak, you know, power this and that, uh, you know, it's very negative reinforcement, punishment sort of a system. You know, was was Yamashita like this? Yeah, probably. Everybody before them ran it a certain way, and it wasn't until Inoue came along, he was like, "All right, we got to build these athletes from young. We have to instill a true love for the sport, right? And we have to give yeah. them positive reinforcement, and we have to care and be an example as a citizen, because the original goal for the philosophy of judo is this, you know, and." He really, truly believes it, preached it, and then changed the way coach and athletes relate to each other in Japan, which is very difficult to do, right? Because yeah. it's super hierarchical. Yeah. Like, right? that's and what Kano wanted. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. But uh, the uh, the only thing that I don't like mm-hmm. um, is that like, he passed away in 38 yeah. And ju- judo became available to the masses in the 50s. Mm. So I don't know why he never put it out for everyone, basically. What do you, you mean? Know, like, um, it was a nobility practice, even worldwide. Yeah. After he passed away in the 50s, that it became like, for the masses. So kind of like the old uh, story. For example, you had uh, sumo. Mm. Sumo was like uh, a practice among like uh, rich wrestlers to entertain the emperor at the mm. court. Like it was only at the emperor's court. Yeah. Later on, it, it was dropped. They no longer had interest in it. It became uh, only for like the, like the athletes were like part for the daimyo. He would fund them. Like yeah. sponsorships today, basically. Yeah. So and the, and if they win, they become samurai, and it was the art for the samurai. Later on, it became like uh, a, a sport for the masses. But because of all the brawls and the fights, it became secluded only in uh, in uh, like shrines, Shinto shrines, like the temple properties for charity, yeah. and and because it became secluded. That's how jujitsu uh, became like took its rise basically on the Japanese mm-hmm. scene. Yeah. So it was 
So it's like all arts, they start like the nobility and only for nobility. That's main. I don't know if he wanted it to be only for nobility, but uh, it uh, it raises some questions. Like, did he only want it for nobility, or he eventually wanted it for the masses because he only taught in nobility schools, and uh, that was it basically. Ah. Interesting. So much history there, huh? Yeah, 